deep with the next poem in your book First Flight, that is The Paul Poem, written by John Benjamin, who was an American poet. Now this John Benjamin also won the Pulitzer Prize. He was a very famous poet. Well, before I start the poem, let me ask you one question, children. When you lose something which is very near and dear to you, what do you do? Do you sit and pine over it? Do you feel very sad about it? Don't you feel that I should not go on with my life? This is the end. Do you do that? Well, let me tell you children, the ball boy teaches us a very vital lesson to the people who are going through this kind of, kind of situations. Now, what is the poem about? This poem is about a small boy who loses his ball while playing on the street. This ball bounces merrily out onto the road and into the, goes into the water. Now, he goes near the water body and stares at the ball which is on the surface of the water and he's perplexed. He gets very sad. He becomes very sad and he thinks, what should I do now? Okay, he's shivering with fear. He wants that ball, but he is not able to bring it back to him. Now the poet, John Bellman, is standing at the corner of the room and he is watching this boy and he feels very bad for his child. He wants to intrude. He wants to go to the boy and console him. He wants to spend maybe 10 cents a dime and wants to buy a new ball for this boy. But he doesn't do that. Why? Because he wants him to learn a very vital lesson in his life. Now you may think, what is there to learn about man? It's just a matter of one small ball. What does it teach you? Well children, this ball is a very symbolic thing for you to learn. Ball here symbolizes the things which we lose in our life. Okay, now they might be very near, very close to you. But you may lose it due to some unfavorable conditions. This small child was going through excruciating pain because that, that ball was very near and dear to him. Now, what happens? This man, this poet, he wants this boy to learn something. What is that? That these kind of balls will come and go in your life. Money is external. It's a part of the worldly positions which you have. It may come today, it may go tomorrow. Life is not static. It goes on and on. You need to grow up. And how are you going to grow up, children? 